Hey guys, this is a dead horse. It's not exactly a dead horse yet, it's just a very tired horse. It's been uh, pulling carriages all day long and by this time of the day it's extremely tired and it just dropped on the grass and it doesn't want to move anymore. Because guess what? We might say that this horse is procrastinating. But guess what? This horse is just tired. And one of the main causes of procrastination is having low energy levels. That's why people procrastinate and that's why horses just lay down on the grass. But what is the difference between how we look at this horse and how we look at ourselves when we get tired? Who would just grab a stick and start beating this horse, poor animal, because it's tired? No one would do, because we care about animals, we care about the poor horse that's been carrying uh, weight all day and now it's tired. But when it comes to you and me, once we get tired, what do we do? We call it procrastination and we start beating ourselves up for procrastination without realizing that it's our low energy, it's the low energy level, that is the main cause of procrastination. So now that we know that low energy is a cause of procrastination and there's been a lot of research done into that subject. And uh, now that we know that we want to look ourselves instead, look after ourselves instead of beating ourselves up. So what do we do instead of beating ourselves up to put our horse, to put ourselves back on our feet? This is what we want to be. We want this horse to be happy, jumping around, full of energy. And let's say this is not a grass anymore. These are just clouds. So the horse is just jumping around, full of energy. And the simplest thing to do, the simplest way of dealing with procrastination that comes because of exhaustion and low energy levels is to tap into our natural energy cycle. So some of us uh, are most energized in the morning. In the morning. Like for me, I am the most energized, most full of energy in the morning. And some people, they're night owls and they just like working late at night. And then in the morning, they, all they want to do is to sleep. One of my biggest procrastination issues happened right in the afternoon. After lunch break, after I had a bit of a meal, uh, I was trying to do something that was challenging and I was always failing to do that. So I was not tapping into my energy cycle, but I was reverse typing it. I was reverse tapping it. I was choosing the worst part of the day to do the most difficult task. Right now, I'm kind of aware that this is happening. And when I have a case of procrastination, as happened recently with education, uh, I look into my energy cycle and I look how I can fit that task in the more productive part of my day. So what happened with me recently is that I noticed that I benefit greatly from studying, but I always procrastinate when it comes to studying. When it comes to uh, open a new educational video and learning new piece of information, I would always postpone. Somehow that was, that was an issue for me. So what I've done, I moved my study block to early part of my day. It was not the first task in the morning, it was second task in the morning, but I still had plenty of energy and I allocated myself one hour. My second task in the morning was to study. So suddenly, uh, while I'm full of energy in the morning, studying becomes doable, it becomes easy to do. Now it became a habit and now I can even do it later in the part of the day because it doesn't feel like such a difficult task anymore. So uh, look at your day, guys. So look at uh, the task that you are procrastinating and see if you can do it during a part of the day when you have a better energy level, when you have more energy. Perhaps once you reschedule that task for a part of the day when you have more energy, maybe you would be less prone to procrastinating on that task. And a more long-term solution, of course, is to boost the energy level in general. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to do as it sounds, because to boost the energy level in general, it requires changing the diet, changing the sleep cycle, 
spending more time on relaxation, taking a vacation, all of that that leads our horse to be in bed, uh, uh, all that needs to be rearranged in life to make that horse alive. But perhaps today is the day when you decide to give yourself more time in bed, more time for sleeping. Maybe today is the day when you decide to take longer breaks. Maybe today is the day when it's time for you to schedule your next vacation. You don't have, you can't go on vacation today perhaps, but perhaps today you can schedule or at least book that vacation with your employer or book that vacation for yourself and commit to that vacation. So hopefully once you come back to that vacation, from that vacation, you'll be full of energy and you'll be less likely to procrastinate. You will, your energy cycle, will, your base energy level will go up and procrastination will become less of an issue. If you guys want to spend, uh, put a bit more work into improving your energy levels and uh, if you want to tap more into time mastery, please join my Facebook group. The link to Facebook group is in the video description. It's going to be also pinned to the comment section of this video. I'll see you inside of the group.